Hello everybody, welcome to this video. First step, in order to launch your online project using WordPress, you have to reserve a domain and a hosting. So, in order to do that, we have this link, cb.greenbacking.com. You just visit this link and from there, you could just search for the domain that you need. For example, see your links, search, and next you're going to see lots of options. You can see that this domain is not available. Um, I could get suggestions like clinks.me. I could add it to the cart and just proceed to the next step to the checkout page. This is the first step in order to proceed forward with the reservation. So here's a summary just uh, made a screenshot for all the steps that you need so first step you have to reserve the link that you need uh, the domain and after that you just add the dns management include the email and email and there's id protection it's optional if you want to hide your own identity for privacy reasons uh, i do recommend to choose dns management and email because we need to use a professional email for the associated domain after that, uh, you just go to the checkout page and enter all the details that you have from your credit card, PayPal, and just proceed forward with the steps. Um, some information needed, like your first name, last name, your email address, the phone number that you use, the country, uh, the state, the zip code, and uh, the address. All these information are needed in order to reserve your domain. You could also um, go back to the categories. You could choose WordPress hosting or hosting packages in order to reserve your own hosting. I do recommend to choose uh, manage WordPress hosting or WordPress hosting. You just choose the package that you want. I do recommend to choose the pro packages uh, from starter WordPress package like uh, the WordPress Business Geeko. It's suitable. Uh, for you with lots of space, lots of email space and uh, good bandwidth. So I do recommend to choose one of these pro packages. Um, you click on the package that you want, choose the associated domain that you have and you could also use this name server in order if you have an external domain you could link to this name server. Um, just proceed to the summary page and finalize the checkout using the domain that you have and the hosting click on the checkout and complete the order after you complete the order you could always go to the client area page for the home page just click on the services and click on the package that you choose and you could always go to the login to the control panel in order to see the control panel that you choose here you could control the emails the database the files everything including the DNS so this is the primary domain for you inside the account information to the right. You can see it. You could click on it. And once you click on that domain, you could visit it. Also, you could go to the SSL section inside the main page. We have a section here called SSL. You could go to it and activate the SSL certificate for free. After that, you just go to your domain and click on it. You could also go to the forward slash WP admin install the PHP link. It's automatically going to open once you visit your link if your WordPress site has been installed. And you click on this link and you just type the title of the page, the username, and the password, and click on install. And after that, you're just going to see the login page, which is by default for slash WP login.php. You just log in and you're going to be inside the dashboard, as you can see. So. We're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to go to the services tab. Uh, we purchased a new domain and I'm just going to go to the domain that we purchased. And here um, we could go to log into control panel in order to log into this page, to this account. And from there, you're going to see uh, we just do sign, uh, single sign on to this domain. And after that, this is, is the domain that we have boom here we go so we got this primary domain i just click on the primary domain link 
you're just gonna see it like here you could copy this you could activate HTTPS in order to see it okay you can see we just logged in to this uh, domain I could go to WP for slash admin which is the admin part of the website where you could control uh, everything so we just logged into the admin and uh, here we could get started with the different stuff that we have so if you go to the site health you can see the site health is loading we, we could improve um, you know the the settings here for example we go settings you could see the, the connection is HTTPS that's good um, you could go, always go to the tools see the site health we don't have any critical issues that's really cool and the site health here is good so yeah we, we could we could get started right now so basically we could turn off the maintenance mode if you want if you have maintenance mode um, once you turn it off you could visit the site and you can see here the website is up and running with anyone in the world can visit this website so the next step is you know get started with WordPress so as you can see here we have a dashboard which is basically got everything you need inside the quick links the welcome message inside the dashboard the the widgets that you got so in order to get started with uh, WordPress post you could get started with this quick draft uh, back uh, quick draft box you could just type anything you want like test test and save this to the drafts so once you save this to the drafts it's gonna be saved under posts post drafts you can see we got a draft post you could visit it because you are admin you could see it here we got you know the, the test here we got test so nothing fancy there you could trash it send it to trash or even you could you know go to the a pub, another published post like the default one that we got here hello world I could you know open it and edit it so I could edit this post and uh, once you open that link you could of course um, you know change the content of it um, change the status like here we have this post you click on the quick edit for example you can change the title of it you can change the category of, of it you can change the slug of it also you could make it published or draft so if you want to make a draft no one can see it only the admin if you can see pending review only the admin can accept that post and next once you accept it, it's going to be published or you could make it published right away here we have you know the the post management tools like we got you could always filter out all the categories that you have so here for the post we don't have any categories at the moment if you go categories you can see the default category is uncategorized so I could make this uh, make a new category let's say news and add this to the categories and here once it's edited you could edit this and you can see we got a new category so right now if I create a new post or edit an existed existing post I could go to the category section and choose the category that I want for example news and after that I you know change the content that I want here you could type whatever thing you want you could you know just like make a new post you could also using looks we have to we have different items that you could use for example I could click on the plus icon and let's say I want to insert an image so I could say we need to insert an image click on it and just click twice <laughs> let's choose upload I could upload a, a photo from my computer or from the media we have a media library for all the images you could select the images and from here 
you could choose this image for example and just going to be stored into WordPress media library so you can reuse this image for later on so yeah I just you know choose the image that I want and after that just kind of select it but make sure you you know select the image in the right direction or the right place that you want you could also add an, a link to this image if you want so after you finish your all the customization just click on the update and uh, once you update the link you could visit this uh, you know this this article this post just go to the permalink section and here you could click on the view post and you can view it so here you can see the things that we did got inserted the image so this is the, as a fair part for the wordpress because wordpress is a cms which is content management system used to or organize your content into post and categories for example you could use multiple categories like news events um, in order to manage your content also we have pages because wordpress you know manage pages and manage media media we we saw media media just basically all the images documents that you upload to the wordpress are going to be stored inside media you could reuse it you reuse them pages are you know designed to make your website so you could have multiple pages for example contact us page about us page home page all these are considered as pages pages don't have categories like the post they have just status published private uh, password protected pages got featured image got attributes like they got page template for example, can I choose between different page templates? We have comments. Comments are, you know, used in order to put comments on pages and posts. You could control that. Themes are basically uh, the way that we control the, the the style of the pages and the whole style of the pages, the theme of the page. So you could use from add new. You could choose from free or lattice or favorite or popular themes or you could use premium themes from other websites like Invato Market or your own custom made theme. Uh, we have a customized tab which is basically controls everything inside the content from the header footer. Uh, the widgets are basically the small boxes you, so you see inside the website for example. Here we have this widget, we have this widget, we have this widget, we have this widget. So these are considered as widget. For example, recent posts got five posts and it's basically over here. So widgets are boxes. Um, you could distribute them for the footer, or the header, or you could make your own areas for the widgets. Menus are the menus that you see inside the, the different sites. For example, we have here sample page which is an item order menu item order you could add your own you know menu like say main menu here main one and create this menu and i want to assign this menu to the desktop horizontal and the mobile menu and i want to add uh, like post like the hello world link to it and the sample page to it so i just created a menu just inside the desktop and the horizontal mobile pages so once you refresh the page you can see we got the menu got two items like that we one that we did here so menu just got the name items and got the place where you want to display this uh, menu in okay we got other stuff here background theme editor then what about this we have the plugins which is basically any extra features or extension you want to add it to WordPress like you want to add um, uh, WooCommerce which is a uh, way that you could convert your website from a blog into a you know, shop or into a directory. So you could choose millions of plugins over here. You could choose free plugins or even uh, paid plugins. Or you could also upload your own plugin over here. Users where you control the user of your website. So uh, we got multiple roles. Uh, for example, 
here we have this user it's got the it's you know username we have we have for example this user is admin which is the only admin currently i could add a new user and assign a role to it like we want to make you this user as an admin so he could control everything from the theme the plugins the pages or we could make him editor so he just not gonna control the plugins or the settings he can control only content or can make it a contributor or a subscriber who who, who even could, couldn't access the admin part but he could also only uh, access the the profile tab which is basically this link uh we got tools like you could check your site health you could import your content from other website and we have multiple tools here um we have the settings where you could control everything from the site title uh the url that you have and if you want to enable people to register with your site you could choose this option anyone can register i do recommend to choose that and the site language the global site language the default role for new registered user you could choose it from here and for the writing issue you could choose i don't recommend to change this currently but for the reading you could choose uh your home page like i want to choose the sample page to be my home page and just click save um for discussions media permalinks i do recommend to go to the permalinks and change it to post name so we're gonna have our post name which is gonna be good for seo search engine optimization reason i do recommend to choose this also here we have the stack cache which is basically a plugin that we use in grid backend in order to optimize the performance of the pages so once you visit your, the, your website just going to be load loading fast because it's cached inside the server so this is pretty much uh, a quick overview of you know wordpress we just tried to give you a uh, quick overview of whole, the whole features of wordpress this is just the beginning uh, in the next video we're just going to show you what we need we need to install a new theme we need to get started with a, a new um, store with a wordpress and we're going to show you all the features of woocommerce and the theme that we're going to use which is going to support mobile pages it's just going to be awesome we're just going to use a theme called puka you could choose any other theme if you want but this is really really good pay, good theme because it, it support you know all type of businesses and you could choose we're gonna choose one of these styles in the next in the next video and I'm just gonna show you how to use uh, these styles and how to get started with them just gonna be simple you just you know choose the style that you want and install it in your you know your device and your uh, server that we have which is wordpress and you could always go to the inspect inside the chrome just right click you could see the mobile version of this theme that we're going to use in the next video so until that next lesson be tuned see you in the next lesson guys thank you for watching